Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a wish haul. Um, I'm doing it in parts so I'll do part one and part two um, mainly because the rest of it has not been delivered because of everything that's going on at the moment. It's now been um, postponed, not postponed. What's the word? Basically, delayed, 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 that's it. So they're basically not going to deliver my order until June or May time. So that's when I will be doing part two of this haul. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with it. Some of the stuff are in packaging and some of it is just loose because when they put them through the letterbox, my dog got to them before I did and she chewed up all the packaging. Luckily, she didn't get to any of the products. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with it. So the first, I'm going to show you two items that are not in bags to start off with. So the first one was these little silicone straws I picked up. Um, there's one, two, three, four. Six straws and a cleaner thing there. Um, so I just picked these up. Um, mainly it's go when I go away on holiday, if that's even still happening. I'm still hoping that it is. Um, that we can just pop these in our bags and just reuse them. Um, so I picked those up. Next thing I picked up was a phone case. Now, if you know me, I have a new phone case every single week because just get bored of it and I have a phone case every single week. Um, so this one is obviously Charlie and Chocolate Factory, um, a Wonka bar, um, yeah it's chocolate so I just thought do you know what that's quite funny let's get it so I got it. Um, so I got that, I think these were like a pound and this was like a pound as well on there so I just picked those up. Um, What is this? I have no idea what these are. I've not opened them. I have just, I mean, I've opened them, like, I've opened them, but I haven't, like, taken the bits out and had a look. Okay, I see what this is. This is a, I got it for my camera, like a lens holder. God, that's well tight. So it just clips on your bag if you want to clip it on your bag, I suppose. Um, and it just holds your lens, so it's like a lens case. Um, and this is about three quid. So I just picked one of those up. Oh, attacked by the wrappers. Right, next thing I picked up was. This does not feel like how I thought it would feel. This feels very flimsy and not very, um, like it's not gonna hold much. Like it's elasticated, which I suppose is quite good. Like it's elasticated like that. You've got like a little clip. Now I can't do it up. <laughs> Um, it's just basically, I got this for when I exercise. Um, when I was going to the gym, obviously you can't go to the gym at the moment because they're all closed. But what I was thinking of doing with this is, if, even if you go for a run or something, um, popping my phone in there at my keys. But what I liked about this was, if I can undo it, is you've got like a little bit here for you, your keys and then this bit here for your phone but here I don't know if I can show you if I've got a wire or something yeah look. obviously you'd use a headphone not an iPhone wire but your headphone would pop out there so You've got your headphone hanging, headphones come through, the little pouch. 
which I thought was pretty good. I mean, I know most people at the gym now have wireless headphones. I don't have wireless headphones. So the wire hanging down, so what I used to do was put it in my bra or put it in the back of my um, workout trousers that have a zip. The wire is so annoying hanging, hanging around. So by having this around your waist, when you surround your waist with your phone in and the wire coming out of there, I just thought it was like really good. So yeah, and you've also got a little thingamajig um, extender to make it bigger or smaller. So yeah, I got this. This was about like two, three quid. Everything I got was not like mega expensive. Oh. So the next thing I got was this. Um, oh my god! <laughs> um, camera strap. Um, I just wanted a thicker one when I go away because I feel thought it would be more comfortable than the other one. So I just got it in this print. Um, and obviously it just goes around your neck with the camera attached. Um, yeah, there's not much we need to say about it. It's quite padded. So yeah, I just thought that'd be a lot easier because the one I've currently got, it twists and it's not very comfortable. So I picked this one up instead. Next thing I got. Oh, this one's quite funny. I opened this because I I wanted to make make sure it was the thing. So I forgot what they're called. But you know the machines that you do your face, you scrub your face with. Well, on there there was a deal and I thought I was buying the machine. Turns out I was buying the case. What am I supposed to do with a case? I haven't got the machine. Um, I did report back to Wish and I have got my money back. Um, because, yeah. Yeah. Because it was like £35, I think. Either £35 or £25. And I thought, oh my god, that's a good deal. It's just like a fake version. It's fine, I'll, I'll get it test it out and then I realised when it arrived this is just the case and that's bloody expensive just for a case that I haven't got machine with before so I can't I can't actually do anything with it so yeah <laughs> so I've got I've got I've got the case no machine but I've got the case so if anybody's got machine and wants them in the case I've got one you can have mine because I've got no use for it. So the next thing I got was... Oops, I've just knocked something over. This little case. Now I've got this little case for all my um, memory cards. So they're just like little memory card wallet. So i just got a case for my, all my memory cards. Um, so then I know that they're all in one place rather than being in little tiny little containers and I've got to find them everywhere. So I thought I'd be organised and get that. So, oh, it's the bag of it. Next thing I picked up was one of these. Now, if you've got a tripod and a camera, you'll know exactly what this is for. Um, but basically at the moment, my one snapped this bit here, this screw here, screw here snapped so I needed to get a new one um, and I see it on wish so I thought you know what sorry I'm just gonna get it so I got a new one because my camera camera is currently just balancing on my tripod um, and as it's a new camera I kind of don't want to smash it up so I thought I'll get one of these be on the safe side um, but I didn't actually realize you can buy a new one of these um, because I was, I was looking to buy a whole new tri tripod. But Wish saved it. So, well, Wish saved money. So I picked that up. Next thing I got, guys, was a, what's this called? It's a hip trainer. 
Um, and basically, it's supposed to. Oh no, it's upside down. I can't read it upside down. It's supposed to tighten your pelvic floor muscles, tighten your pelvic correction. Um, no, correction your pelvic. Sorry, reading it wrong. And give you a beautiful hip line and beautiful and beautify the leg the leg type. Ooh. So you can do you can do all these different exercises. Ooh, yeah. Um so I just thought, oh yeah, why not? Let's just give it a go. Like it was I think it was like four pound. Only cheap. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay. Ooh. Um this looks kinda wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Um so we can do standing, squatting, back horizontal or flat support. Uh okay. So, you're not going to see, are you guys? I'll do it in my bed. So we'll do the kneeling one. Yeah, I am just in comfy, so just ignore that. What we do? What we do? Okay, so apparently you put it between your legs. Oh my god, that looks so wrong. And then you just squeeze. No. <laughs> can't do it sitting like this, it's too weird. Okay, so I thought we'd just try it over here, standing. So apparently you put this in between your legs, like so, and then you just... To be fair, I don't think this does much. this is going to do much and it just looks dodgy so <laughs> so yes so I'm just going to put this to the side um, and the next and last thing I got that I was super like excited about and really wanted to try was I've seen these everywhere and this was £20 um, from Wish but it's this um Cleansing, they, they're calling it the cleansing instrument, but there's another one out that's a hell of a lot more expensive. Um, so when I see this for £20, I'm like, oh my god, yes, I've got, I've got to get, whoa, I've got to get that. So it comes with all these different nozzles you can try. You've got, what's that? Oh, You've got the charging cable. We've got these little, like, oh, okay, they're like little sponges, I suppose, to clean the little nozzles, so you've got like, this great big nozzle here, um, and then, this is the machine, so it's already comes with this, no this, this nozzle already on it, Oh, you just take it, I'll take it off like that. Um, if we keep this nozzle on. Ooh, can you hear that? Ooh. Ooh. I just turn it off then. Oh my god, I can't turn it off. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, you hold your finger on it to turn it off. Um, I will try this, but I've kind of got makeup on, so I don't want to clog it up with makeup. So, I will insert a clip at the end of me using this um, before I go to bed to let you know what I actually think of this. I don't know, I think it's going to be like a quite good little machine. Um, I hope so anyway. 
but I'm not 100% sure. Like, I don't know if it's going to be the same as, it's definitely not going to be the same as like the more expensive ones out. But if it does the same job, then, then great. It doesn't actually tell you what it's supposed to do, which is just great. Just tells you how to clean it. So that's very helpful. But we will see. So that is everything I got in this haul, guys. I will do um, a part two when all of the other products start arriving. So until then, I hope you're all keeping safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, guys, so I've taken my makeup off. I am now ready to use this beast. And yeah, let's. Okay, so I'm gonna try it on number one. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? So. You can see the stuff coming out of my face. Oh! So that's on number two. Oh, ow! Oh, that really hurts. Number three is painful. Oh, that is quite disgusting. Oh, it, my face now stings. Is it supposed to say? That's just gross. So I'm guessing it still works the same as the others. But... Do we, we clean it, please? Let me try and clean it one of these. I'm not too sure how you clean it one of these, mind you. Oh, I guess you just... But how's I get that out? probably better use an earbud because I'm actually going to get out because these are like too squishy you can see that they're too squishy so they actually do nothing cleaning that so I don't understand I don't get that but, uh, but yeah all in all this is quite good you know I do rate this um, my face is dusting a bit now I don't know if it's supposed to I don't really know, but uh, yeah. Should I try a different head? I'm just telling you my face is thin, and I'm like, let's try another head. Let's try this head. I don't know what I'm sorting for. Let's try this head, it's like a great big. Let's turn my glasses off. Oh, ah, ah. Oh no, I don't like this big head. More for suction. Oh. No. I think I prefer the little head. I do not have on it. Oh, 
Oh, ow. My whole face. I think this is quite good though. I've got glass on so I can't see if it's done anything. Yeah, so that's got my gunk in it too. <laughs> so I think these are quite good. Um, well worth 20 quid. Just a matter of how you clean them is my next issue. But yeah, I like this. I do like this. So definitely recommend this if I wish. Alright guys, so now I've tested this, I'm going to go and I will see you in my next video. Bye!